Hello everybody, thank you for to come to uh, the stream tonight. So tonight I'm going to chat me on how to to uh, to make the Treasure Island in the Animal Crossing for uh, the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Thank you, hello, thank you for to coming to the, the YouTube channel so much, everybody. Thank you, uh, thank you so much. Uh. This is what Wilbur sounds like when he's landing the plane. <laughs> so, in all seriousness, we are going to attempt to create an all tarantula island Tonight, uh, all tarantulas all the time. Look at that. What a good... Oh, oh no! Deirdre, look out! Oh, no! She's got headphones in! She can't hear us! Yeah. Ear pods? What is it? Earphones? Ear pods? She's got e e ear pods in? Air pods. Whatever the fuck. <laughs> So, alright, so in order to create our all tarantula island, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to have to buy a Nook Miles ticket, right? Uh, so we could go to a Nook, uh, a random Nook island. Uh, by the way, how's the audio? Can you guys hear the game and all that shit? Can you hear it? You're good? The balance is good? It's actually very quiet for me. I'm going to make a quick adjustment there. Okay. And obviously, you want to go to this island with nothing in your inventory because you're going to come back with pockets full of spiders. Amazing that they let you on the plane with your pants absolutely filled to the brim with tarantulas, like, crawling all over you and everything. Oh, that, that'd be, like, some fun art. I think, to just have my character sitting on a plane looking really uncomfortable because his pants are absolutely chock full of tarantulas. That's gotta definitely be violating some kind of, you know, invasive species laws or something like that, right? Wildlife transportation laws, right? <laughs> I just... Like the guy who got arrested at the airport with his pants fil filled with snakes, remember that? Alright, so I'm just gonna bring the mats with me, I think, because... You could get more mats... Oh, you could get more mats on the island, right? I've had enough of these motherfucking ranchos on this motherfucking plane! Because what you don't want to have happen is you get to the island and then your net breaks, or your shovel breaks, or your axe breaks, because you need these things on the island, right? But I think what I'm going to do is... Kind of, maybe just throw some shit out, right? Because you could get these resources infinitely, right? But the spiders, and you could... You could rebuild the, the tools uh, after you come back home. You know, so I'm probably going to end up throwing out all the tools... And all the mats in order to make inventory room for, for spiders. Right. Uh, but yeah, thinking about things that probably don't need to come, that's a good idea, right? Because there's no reason to have to recraft some of these things. Uh, is... You want to bring the ladder, you want to bring the vault pole, I think. Uh, I'm going to take the axe, I'm going to take both of the axes, I'm going to take the shovel. The fishing rod isn't going to come with us. The watering can's not going to come with us. This not this isn't going to come with us, okay? And I think the rest of it, yeah, I'm going to I'm just going to take. Cryptid code says Mike's explaining it so calmly like this is the most sensible thing in the world. Yeah, to come back with <laughs> pockets full of tarantulas. One ticket to Rancho Island, please. Hey, 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 welcome to your one and only gateway to the skies, East Lechuga Airport. I want to fly. 
I do have a Nook Miles ticket. Stop looking in my pockets. I want to go to Rancho Island. Cowboys in the shower. What are the lyrics to Ram Ranch? Yeah, the axe and the shovel will break life for Nintendo, but the good news is I'll be able to get uh, mats on there. I'm bringing mats with me. Um, probably I should bring branches, but, you know, that, that there will be trees on the island. Unless, of course, I end up getting a bamboo island, but I'm not sure you could do this on a bamboo island. I don't know if it, if it works on a bamboo island, but good news, we didn't get a bamboo island. Um, but I was hoping that it would be raining on the island, uh, and you can see that it isn't. So it'll be a little bit harder because of that, but... In any case... Uh, if you want to do it in the order of the tweet that I'm looking at, for anybody who wasn't here earlier, uh, I'm doing this based off of a tweet that I saw where someone outlines very clear, uh, a very clear method to turn any island into Tarantula Island, right? Uh, let's go ahead and start chopping down trees. And I think this whole process, if I don't dick around too much, should just take maybe about 20 minutes. It also depends on how many new tools I have to craft, right? And I may want to consider shaking some of these trees for branches before chopping them down because I'm going to need those uh, to make... Yeah, hold on. Let me let me do that. Because I don't want to be caught out here uh, without, without branches, right? Give me some branches, yo. There we go. Uh, Settlewood wants to see the tweet. I'll link it in chat again. So it says, you can make any island, spider island, if you do the following. Chop all trees and remove the stumps. Pick all the flowers. Pick, not uproot. Remove all the rocks. Do it at night, dump the resources on the beach, and then clear the island of bugs. Is what it says. Uh, and I know that it works because I did it last night. Uh, so I don't expect any reason for us to fail here, okay? Unless, of course, we get stopped by PETA. So I don't know how many of you saw this. But for some reason, PETA likes to get involved in, uh, video games. And they have some very strong opinions about Animal Crossing. And I actually happened to... I saved the article from PETA. Uh, and I have it here. But, uh, I'm gonna... Let me make some headway here first before we... Before we take a look at it. Oh, let me just chop some trees and... Let me clear up a little bit of the island and... We're gonna take a look at it. We're gonna read through it. Uh, it's a- it's a fucking ride, guys. Cryptid code is still mentally recovering. What, did you make the mistake of reading it? Basically, Peter wanted to ask the question. Was it okay... ...to play Animal Crossing... ...uh, New Horizons? If you're a vegan. Is this a safe game to play for vegans? If you're vegan, is there a way you can enjoy Animal Crossing without violating... Uh, the, ...the code of being vegan? Right? Now you might be thinking to yourself... ...how could you... ...you know, betray your vegan values... ...by playing a video game? Well, PETA wants you to know that it is in fact possible. And by the way, Rev, thank you for that raid, bud. I hope, uh, your night got better with whatever that issue was. I... There were some people in my stream saying that they couldn't see it as well. So, you know, I don't- I don't know. I don't know what the fuck's going on there. Maybe Twitchy Witchy is having a little fucky-wucky. But, uh, yeah, we're making a, a- a- 
full-on Tarantula Island right now. Oh, and it's gonna be... A hairy situation. <laughs> right, well, Peter doesn't mind if you play a, a first-person shooter where you murder human beings. But God forbid you... Play a video game where you can catch insects. I got the bottle. And we may as well learn that DIY recipe because it's going to end up getting thrown out of my inventory anyway. And it looks like it's for a pansy crown. Do you know the way to Scarborough Fair? No, I don't. Leave me alone. Alright, so let me just go ahead and get everything done down here before I go up to that part of the island, I think. I'm gonna streamline this for myself. Alright, so there's an Emperor Butterfly, which normally I'd be all about catching because that sells for 5k. But these ranchos are gonna sell for HK each. And if you have, uh... That chameleon villager, Flick, right? His name is. And if you have Flick in your town, he will actually buy the tarantulas for significantly more. Am I right? Oh, no. No, sorry. Okay. The tarantulas are 4K each. I'm giving misinformation. Can somebody clear this up for me? What's the actual numbers on this? I sold an inventory full of tarantulas with the exception of the slot that had the, the bug net in it for like 230,000 bells or something like that. Okay, so true. The tarantulas are 8k a piece. I was correct about that. The emperor butterflies are 4. Excuse me. But if you have Flick in your town, um, and I don't know how and when the circumstances of that arise. I don't know anything about that character. He will buy them for more. But I imagine he's not a regular villager. He's probably one that shows up during an event or something like that, right? Will he randomly show up on some days and buy, and buy bugs from you at an increased price? So, I mean, yeah, that's the story. If Flick shows up in your town randomly... You definitely want to do what I'm doing right now, because you will make bank, right? So what what does he buy them for? Is it 12k? Somebody in chat said 12k. Flick, he's like a punk rock chameleon, I guess. Yeah, I'm doing deep Animal Crossing strategy, uh, Burkhans the Witch. Thanks for coming tonight. So we got rid of uh, all of the... Uh... No, nope, we still got some stumps over here. Okay. Yeah, do that, dude. See, the last time I did this, before I destroyed the rocks, I hit them to get all the mats out of them, and... I don't know why I did that. It was a waste of time, because I ended up leaving them all here anyway, because I want to go back again... ...with an inventory absolutely jam-packed with tarantulas. But, again, I do expect this to be a little bit harder... ...than it was for me last night, because it's not raining on this island, right? And a good sign is we see other insects spawning on the island. Because apparently some of the islands that you could get while doing this uh, will not spawn insects at all. And if it doesn't spawn insects at all, you won't get ranchos, right? Uh, but... Oh, interesting fact. The island that I did this on last night had a fossil on it. One fossil. Peter thinks that you have to, you have to kill sheep to get their wool.
let's take a break here for a second. PETA's Vegan Guide to Animal Crossing New Horizons. With everyone self-isolated at home and finding themselves on social media more than ever, by now, you've probably heard about Nintendo's new game, Animal Crossing New Horizons. This vegan guide to it will help answer some of the tough ethical questions that it presents. <laughs> yeah, because any, everybody, you know, when they, when they hear about Animal Crossing, that's immediately synonymous with tough ethical questions, right? I mean, who thinks Animal Crossing and doesn't immediately think, yes, tough ethical questions, right? This vegan guide will help answer some of the tough ethical questions that it presents, as well as give you an opportunity to help real animals while living your island life. Because, because anybody fucking asked you, Peter! Because anybody asked you! Peter's over here. Like, writing strategy guides, like, they think they're fucking IGN now, right? <laughs> Fuck off. First question. Is fishing in Animal Crossing vegan? And then there's a picture of somebody fishing with a, a big giant red X on it. And it says, this is a biggie. Fishing isn't vegan. You shouldn't fish in real life. So you shouldn't do so in the game either. Right? Yeah. It's a video game, guys. So unlike in real life, the fish in the game don't feel pain. But fishing is harmful to animals and the planet. This is your island, and it's your job to protect it. Like, fuck off. What? Tearing the wildlife right out of their ocean homes so that you can donate them to blathers for museum exhibits is not only cruel, but also bad for the environment. The digital virtual environment in your not real fake virtual digital video game. These people really don't have better things to do. And yeah, you like how Blathers is mentioned by name? Like, Blathers is getting specifically fucking called out in this, <laughs> this PETA article? <sighs> fucking unreal. Like, you can't make this shit up, guys. You cannot make this shit up. Alright, so I'm gonna eat some pears uh, to make me nice and strong. And unfortunately, there's no toilet on the island, so I won't be able to take a shit later. Which is totally a thing that you could do in this game. Rejoice. You can finally take shits in Animal Crossing. I don't know about you guys, but I've been asking for that for years. I've been wanting to take shits in Animal Crossing. Yeah, drop it. So there you go, Jen. I mean, PETA hates Animal Crossing too. Uh, sorry. PETA hates Blathers as well. Like, maybe consider getting a job with, with, with PETA, Jen? Since you guys are obviously, you know, on the same page with everything, right? So then they go on to talk about, you know, in the real world, anglers leave behind a trail of tackle victims, which include birds and turtles and dolphins, which is, you know, fucking very obviously a terrible, a, a terrible thing. You know, those giant trawlers, they do kill a lot of uh, wildlife in it, and it fucking sucks. It's awful. I wish that that was a thing that didn't happen, and, you know, I hate it. I legit legitimately do. Like, I, I'm, I'm with PETA on that. But in this instance, we're talking about a fucking individual walking down to the beach with a fishing rod and catching fish just by themselves. Okay, we're not talking about... You, you, th there's no, you know, Tom Nook gives you a massive fucking sea trawler for you to go out into the middle of the ocean and kill dolphins with. That, that's not happening in this game. Peter. Like, maybe if it did, you'd have a leg to stand on here? Wildlife rehabilitators say that discarded fishing tackle is one of the greatest threats to aquatic animals. Don't let this happen on your island! It's not gonna happen on my island, Peter!
fucking unbelievable. Oh, it's gonna, that's gonna happen in the DLC, right? You know what this is, guys? It was just that Peter. Fuck you. No, my peen! Oh, this thing doesn't give a fuck. Look. Peter saw how popular this game was on social media, media and was like, oh, hey, guys, there's an opportunity for us to shill our fucking psychotic ideologies by jumping on this bandwagon of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Like, that's all it was. That's all this is. That's the only reason this article exists, right? Peter! <laughs> Peter! And Peter actually does this with every new video game that comes out. Wasn't there something around the time Mario Odyssey came out? And they also did something when Pokemon came out? Like, fuck off, Peter. Alright, so. There's our first Rancho. As you can see, it works like a fucking dream. I didn't even have to dump the resources yet, and we already have our first Rancho. Oh, drop. 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 <laughs> drop. Yeah, it's a very effective strat. Drop. Nope. Well, yeah, we need that one. Uh, drop. Drop. There's no room to put anything, okay? See, I'm littering on the beach. This is what Pete had wanted to avoid, I guess. Uh, drop. Uh, and again, I can make more of these. It's... No, uh, it sucks a little bit, but, you know, this game does give you infinite resources. I feel like, if anything, dropping the... The iron sucks a little bit, right? But, whatever. Yeah, do that. So, all I really did here was I removed... ...the means for any other insects besides tarantulas to spawn. That's all I did, you know? I mean, if you want to call it an exploit, uh... ...you can, but, I mean, in my mind, all I really did was I created... ...the optimal environment for tarantulas. Right? You know, I mean... That's it. You know, they like it like this. You know, they don't like other bugs, and, and you know, they want to be... They want to have the island all to themselves. So there's now no no more trees for uh, spiders and shit to spawn in. Uh, there's no more stumps for the beetles to spawn on. There's no more flowers for butterflies to spawn around. And there's no more rocks for uh, shit to spawn under, right? The only thing we're not going to be able to completely get rid of is the mole crickets that spawn underground. They're still going to be able to spawn. And we're not going to be able to get rid of the wharf roaches that will spawn on these rocks, right? Uh, but other than that, we have cre created a tarantula paradise, right? Tiger beetles will still spawn, uh, and that would have been a thing where if it was raining, it would have prevented those from spawning too. But alas, you know, uh, it's not raining on this island, so... Uh, we don't have the ability to get rid of them. But you could get rid of them fairly easily by just running over them. Um... Thought I would have seen another rancho by now. Well, yeah, again, the tiger beetles are going to take the spawns. So if you go to one of these random islands and you see that it's raining, definitely take advantage of that. Uh, because then you're not going to have to deal with the tiger beetles taking up the rancho spawns. Right. Uh, which has already become an annoying problem for me, as you can see. Uh, and running around like this is a dangerous game uh, because I can end up scaring the tarantulas and having them bite me. And I mean, yeah, expect to get bit a lot when you're doing this, right? Uh, where are my ranchos? Oh, it did not take this long to... Yeah, here you go. That sucks. 
And there's really not much you could do about that. Also, I hear I hear a, a mole cricket. Which is uh, taking up the spot as well. Yeah, so what I'm thinking you might want to do is actually use the Nook Miles tickets until you get an island where it, it, it is raining. Like, don't, you probably don't want to do this uh, on an island where it's, you know, where it's not raining. Because, again, last night I had such an easy time of this, you know? Are the weeds what is making... Well, no, in the tweet, he doesn't say anything about the weeds, guys. But if you think that the weeds are what's making the the tiger beetles spawn, I, I doubt that. Right, yeah, if I try to get rid of the mole cricket, it'll just immediately, immediately spawn again, right? Do the fish take up spawns? Yeah, so I got fucked on the, uh, on the Rancho Island here, I think. But what I should have done was... Yeah, when I saw it wasn't raining, I should have went home and just bought another Nook Miles ticket. Uh, but I don't think I'm gonna do this again tonight, so... Whatever. Bummer. Well, rest assured, it does work. You just have to do it, I think, on an island that's raining. Uh, and if you say that the fish are taking up the spawns, I think there's an easy answer to that, right? Just run over there. Oh, that one doesn't give a fuck. There you go. And yeah, again, uh, last night... I didn't pick any of the weeds, and I wasn't having the issue of the ranchos not spawning, so I don't... I don't know, uh... I think you really just want to do it on an island where it's raining. But I will try. And I mean, we did see one tarantula, but it's like... That there was a tarantula on my island. Oh, there we go. There's no hope once it's chasing you. There's no hope once it's chasing you. So get this bit. It's disappointing that a game in which villagers from all different species, from elephants and ducks to deer and pigs, coexist harmoniously with humans, encourages abusive behavior towards fish and insects. Instead of being recognized as the living, breathing, feeling individuals they are, they're presented as forms of entertainment for the other villagers. Your island should be a safe space for all animals, big and small. So I think when Splatoon, when the first Splatoon came out, wasn't there a squid villager at least in uh, in New Leaf? They had a squid vi villager, right? But it begs the question: Why aren't there more bug and uh, well, there are no bug villagers, right? I guess they feel like bugs don't count as. You know, being in the pool of what a villager in this game can be. But I mean, how about, you know, how about some more fish villagers? Right, we could, we could do with some fish villagers. I think that might be fun. You know, and they could wear, like, astro- uh, the astronaut. I don't know, reverse scuba gear, you know? Of some kind, so they could breathe above, above ground. That might be a little bit stupid, huh? Yeah, that might be a little bit stupid. How about crustacean? How about like a crab villager? Can we have a crab villager? Bug villagers? You wouldn't like bug villagers? I feel like bug villagers might be fun. How many people would like... Yeah, bug villagers. You're not a rancho. Fuck off. And there are no weeds up here, meaning that... Yeah, removing the weeds didn't do much to stop the tiger beetles from spawning, right? And I just cannot get rid of these fish. Look at this. Damn. Um... The pole vault would be a good way to get rid of the fish, but I didn't bring that with me, as you saw. Here we go, Rancho. 
There's the Wharf Roaches. We could get rid of them easily enough. Yep. Ladybug Villager. That'd be fun. I don't think that the fish affect the bug spawns either because on the island I was on last night, um, I had... Lame. I was not scaring away the fish, and guys, there was a tarantula, like, every time I refreshed the screen, there was a tarantula. Like, it was, it was constant. And again, um, here's my evidence that, you know, I did this. I did, I did do this. It did, it did happen. I'm not, I'm not faking it. Watering pail, when emptied into the water, scares away the fish. Yeah, I didn't bring that either. Fuck off. And I should probably go pick up my... ladder. At least. My ladder? Uh, one of these is a ladder, right? Like... There we go. Okay. The bug net will scare the fish? Not looking like it. Nope. So, I wonder what the actual Tarantula Island is like. Like the one that spawns naturally, not the forced Tarantula Island? Probably don't want to run around the place. Probably just want to walk to avoid getting bit. There we go. There we go. See, so it's the clearing the island that... You know, really doesn't take much time at all. It's the, it's the catching of the tarantulas that takes most of the time. Tarantulas won't chase you if you don't have your net out. Wahi, well, that's, that, is that real? That doesn't sound real. I feel like I got bit by tarantulas while not having my net out. Another rancho. Oops, all ranchos. From General Mills. Octane, thank you for the gift sub, Pun Star. back to the fabric. Oh, let's see what PETA has to say about catching bugs in Animal Crossing. From butterflies to wharf roaches, your island is a bustling home for various insects and other little animals. Keep it that way. Blathers would like to build a museum of fish and insects on your island. Don't let him do it. So PETA wants you to... When Tom Nook asks you if it's okay to let blathers come to the island, PETA wants you to tell them no. Fuck no. Keep that son of a bitch away from my island. They don't even want you building the museum. <laughs> Peter doesn't even want you building the museum. <laughs> it sounds like one of those, like, political ads when you, like, the political smear ads, right? When somebody buys an ad to smear their opponent. Blathers would like to build a museum of fish and insects on your island. Don't let him do it. <laughs> and you just see like a, a grainy picture of Blathers and it's all, it's like it's black and white, right? And it's like showing you what a bad person Blathers is, you know? <laughs> Paid for by Americans against Blathers. Oop, another rancho. Ah! Bullshit. 
total bullshit. Absolute fucking one metric ton of horseshit. Are you fucking kidding me? You know what? Just for that, I'm gonna catch that one. I'm gonna make him into ranch dressing. That's right, folks. Most people don't realize this. But ranch dressing is made from ranchos. Little known fact. Peter loved that one. Just as fish don't belong in tanks, insects don't belong inside cramped cases in a museum for other villagers to gawk at. Your island should be a place where wild animals are free to live without being captured and exploited. In the real world, animals suffer in captivity at places like SeaWorld and roadside zoos. They're deprived of everything that's natural and important to them. In Animal Crossing, you have the choice to let the animals on your island live free from harm. So please, leave them alone! Guys, what the fuck is a roadside zoo? Like, is this a thing that goes on? Out there, man? Where, like, you're driving down the highway and you see, like, a shitty... A shady looking billboard where it's like exit 17A Joe's Zoo. And you get off the highway and there's like some kind of slip shots and he's got like fucking giraffes in there and shit. And it's like the beginning of a shitty horror movie. They got the fucking clown from, uh, what is it, uh, the Rob Zombie movie? Like, he's running the zoo? Like, like, what? Like, what? Like, did, did these exist, or is this bullshit? Because I've never seen one of these places in my life. You got a rancho? You all seen it? Oh, yeah! Skill dick! God gamer! Let me see them squan pogs, chat. That was just a fucking Hail Mary. You know that took no skill. That was just dumb fucking luck. Oh, look how much this doesn't work, by the way. That's some fake bullshit. You need to go. Get out of here. Thank you. Oh, two of you. Okay. Just me and my ranchos. It works sometimes, I guess. Get out of here. Is anybody else, like, really upset that their island has roaches? Bye-bye, Coelacanth. More fucking beetles. Blathers wants to build a museum on your island. Don't let him do it. <laughs> so, like... Man, you think there's people who are involved in PETA who are playing this game right now, like, legitimately not building the museum? Do you even get to progress the game? If you don't build the museum, like, does Nook let you do anything else if you don't build the museum? Oh, come on. Yeah, these beetles are ruining my life. I'll say it again. 
do this on an island where it's raining. Don't bother doing it on an island where it's not raining because it, there's so many more tarantulas uh, when it's raining. I wish I had the foresight to do that, but... You know, I didn't. <laughs> Alright, so let's look at this bit. Do clams feel pain? And then there's a picture of a villager holding one of the manila clams, and there's a big red X on it. Yeah, even clams. Even clams are off-limits. Clams are bivalves who may, lay, who may look less familiar to us than mammals, but they still deserve consideration and respect. They're capable of a surprising range of behavior. Did you know, for instance, that they can escape from danger by burrowing through sand? Yeah. Yeah, I think everybody did. Although it's unclear whether they feel pain, in the real world, they play an important role in the ecosystem. And if they do feel pain, they constitute a huge group of animals suffering for food every year. It's best to be safe than sorry, and NOT dig for clams on your island. Digital clams. Digital, virtual, fake clams. Peter, I think you need to clam your tits. Sure, but these are pretend clams. Yeah, just fuck video games. Uh, video games promote speciesism. Uh, and we need to just do away with video games if we're going to protect uh, Earth's wildlife. Pretty clearly, video games are one of the biggest threats to uh, the ecosystem. Uh, and they have to go. No, no other way around it, gamers. Sorry. Hate to be the bearer of bad news. Rancho stuck in a wall. Well, you know what's going to happen here is the net is going to hit the wall and I'm going to get bit. No, it's not. They even have a problem with hermit crabs. It says, should I leave the hermit crabs in the game alone? Hermit crabs love hanging out on the shore of your island. Leave them there. When you capture a hermit crab in the game, the screen says, I caught a hermit crab. I think it wanted to be left alone. In this situation, the game demonstrates surprising awareness that we shouldn't be bothering these animals and taking them from their homes. No, jerk off. It's a fucking wordplay on the word hermit. You fucking kidding me? It's a, it's it's a joke. You really like you didn't get that? Like you're that thick? Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure that that's why they're called hermit crabs, right? In the first place. But my God, Peter displaying, you know, a d demonstrating a surprising awareness, uh, or a surprising lack of awareness. Of jokes existing. Right, Super Scrungy. They are that thick. Haven't you been reading the article? Yet yeah, they, they are, in fact, that fucking thick. And not the good kind of thick with the two C's. The bad kind of thick. In real life, hermit crabs can live for more than 30 years in their natural habitat on tropical seashores. But after being purchased in the pet trade, most don't live for more than a few months to a year. Don't take hermit crabs from your island's beaches and sell them to Blathers or Timmy Nook. They're not objects, they're individuals. That is fucking cool about hermit crabs. And by the way, if you take really good care of your pet hermit crab, you can get, get it to live that long. And I'm pretty sure this depends on the species too. Like not all species of hermit crab are gonna you know, fucking live th 30 years, right? Um, but, you know, PETA doesn't mention that, right? But, yeah, I mean, you, you totally can get your pet hermit crab to... to live ver a, ve a very, very long time, yeah. 
and probably have it, you know, be a lot happier, right? I mean, well, that's assuming a lot. But look at it this way. In nature, fighting against predators uh, and maybe not being able to find food versus being in uh, a terrarium and having a constant source of food and being protected from predators. Don't support big blathers. And now we get to the food. What would a vegan eat on a desert island? Well, this is a home run because there's only one thing to eat in Animal Crossing, right? The whole world knows the answer to the eternal question of what a vegan would eat on a desert island. Fruit! In the game, it makes you strong. Now, what if you're in an aviation accident and you end up on a, you know, a deserted island that has no fruit growing on it? That is entirely possible. No coconuts, no bananas, no nothing, right? But there are fish. And maybe birds with, with nests that have eggs in them. PETA would have you fucking starve to death in that situation. No, you wouldn't fish, rock sliders. You wouldn't fish. You wouldn't fish. Because PETA isn't going to allow it. That's not allowed. That was the first point in the article. You're not allowed to fish. No fishing. I feel like I heard a rancho sound just now. Like I heard like the, the death rattle sound of a rancho. Like I feel like tarantulas probably don't make a noise like that, but... The less I know about tarantulas, the better. Yeah, I guess we have to get rid of this clown up here. So do you still think that's that it's an exploit now that you see what goes into it and how not easy it, it really is? Because I don't, I wouldn't consider it, I would not consider it to be an exploit. So many tiger beetles, man. And I mean, oh, I mean, that's... That's not a negligible number of tarantulas, by any means. Right, an exploit would be something like an item duplication glitch, right? I'm not saying that they intended for you to be able to do this, Amazonator. I mean, may maybe not. Maybe, maybe they did. But, like, look, I'm not sitting here duping the tarantulas, right? Like, I could be. I could be doing that. Look, instead I'm sitting here and I'm having to chase away all the beetles and shit. But yeah, again, you, you want to solve that particular issue. Just do this on an island that's raining. This would probably be half, at least, full. I'd have more tarantulas if it was raining, guaranteed. Like, by now, last night, I'd, my inventory was almost nearly full of tarantulas. Go away. The wharf roach is still spawned and the um the mole crickets still still spawned. 
Uh, but, you know, one less thing spawning is definitely going to be a big help to you, I think. And I don't know, I'm not convinced that the, the fish are involved in this at all. I mean, if you want to be a real big balls son of a bitch, you could just do this to your actual town. Hi, New Wave uh, Beastie. Thanks for coming tonight. This game doesn't seem very long. It seems odd. Well, it's Animal Crossing. Were you, like, looking for a final boss or something? Or do you just mean, like... Because I, I, I guess... I don't know. I think you, if you want to have a point for I beat Animal Crossing, if you really want to, for me, that would be completely filling the museum and it would be fully upgrading your house. Then you could say like, all right, you know, I, I, I beat it. I don't know if you want to look at it that way. I, maybe. Maybe. The final boss is Blathers. Maybe if you're Peter. Fucking tarantula doesn't chase you if you don't have a net out. Look at that. He was not interested in me because I didn't have the net out. Aqua Rancho. And don't forget, Nintendo uh, plans to add some post launch DLC. Though I did see an article today where uh, Nintendo made a statement they, they, they or they were dur during an interview or something um, where they did say there's a, a very very high likelihood that post launch content for this game will be delayed uh, due to um, yeah the the virus shit uh, unfortunately but um, what are you gonna do uh, also yeah they closed down their repair center in North America meaning that um it was a really good time for my Joy-Con to start drifting, right? What else got cancelled? The season finale of Walking Dead I saw had to be uh, postponed, airing it for some reason, uh, related to the virus. Uh, which I'm sure sucks for fans. Uh, obviously. I'm in the middle of my, my Better Call Saul season. I'll be really fucking upset if Better Call Saul ends up getting delayed. Man, that that's the that's the only show that's airing right now that I that I really give a shit about at all. Um I mean, there's a lot bigger reasons to fucking be upset, obviously, but it's not helping. You know what, Gambit? I have a pro controller. I could just use that for this game. For this game, right? But, I mean, there's a lot of games where, you know, I don't want to use a fucking pro controller. Did you just say Bunny Day? Bunny Day update is version 1.1, which we have downloaded already. Oh, the Easter. Okay. So the Easter is preloaded then. The Easter event. But I don't know, man. Who who knows what else they had planned, right? Oh, moderators, you changed the ticker for the for the game, right? For the stream, you changed it from uh, from Pokemon Coliseum to Animal Crossing. Fading Ember says their pro controllers started drifting. Pro controllers can drift? Nine ten did this to their island, and now insects aren't spawning hardly at all anymore. Was it a random island or your actual island? You shouldn't do this to your actual island, man.
And yeah, apparently some of the random islands do not spawn bugs at all. I don't know if... Saw that on Twitter. I don't know if they... Look in the tweet thread for the, the tweet that I linked about this. That should be pretty helpful. And Om Seal, if you're here, maybe put that, uh, that link in the description of the YouTube video. Go away. Oh my god, so many beetles. Uh, apparently the roaches make a, a, a sound that's similar to the tarantula noise. And I'm kind of wondering if that island, that, that naturally occurring tarantula island, if it's just, you know, it wasn't intended by Nintendo, if they didn't Nintend for it to be a tarantula island, and that just ended up being a consequence of some other things about the way that the island spawns, right? Maybe they were like, oh yeah, that's cool, leave that, you know? You can say what you want, Rancho Island's pretty fun. Uh, Max Lock. Feel back to the family. Thank you for two months of support. Artemis Croc says you could get islands that only spawn one kind of bug regardless of what you do. Oh, no shit. So they also programmed in Beetle Islands and R Roach Islands and things like that? Damn. You know, like gimmick islands. That's fun. So if, if you did end up getting that kind of an island, I imagine that doing all of this shit would not work in the way of increasing the tarantula spawn. So I think, yeah, probably if you get an island that only has one kind of bug spawn, don't bother trying to do this because it was intended to only spawn one kind of bug, right? I wouldn't say randomly generated stuff to explore ad infinitum max, uh, max lock, but I would say, uh, yeah, these islands are always going to be different. Um, but I feel like yeah, you, you'll get to a point where you're like, I've seen that before, you know. I had my first bamboo island last night, too. Uh, and I was initially going to try to do the tarantula island thing on the bamboo island... But my tools ended up breaking, and the Bamboo Island doesn't have trees for you to get mats from. So I just had to leave. I have a feeling it would have worked, too, because I did see some other bugs spawning. Uh, and it was raining, too, so that would have been cool to do that on that island, I think. But eh, you're probably just better off doing it on an island like this one. Where there's nothing specific about it, you know? Just a kind of a generic RNG island. But what I'm learning now is, yeah, you absolutely want it to be raining. Those ranchos, they like it moist. I mean, think about it. If it was raining, dude, all of those beetles would be tarantulas. Like, imagine that concept, right? And I mean, you know, I mean, look at this. This isn't nothing, but it could be more. It could be so many more. Go away. Go away!
Those, the rain doesn't stop those spawning. Maybe I'm done. Maybe I caught all the ranchos. Neko ketamine. Well, back to the family. So Neko is how you say cat in Japanese, right? But ketamine is also cat tranquilizer. Is that is that what your name is about? Yeah, I extinctified all the ranchos on this island. Uh, do you? Hold on. Sleek Freak asks if I plan on making another Warren's episode with Fred anytime. No Warren's episodes uh, being planned right now, but uh, I think Fred is going to stop by the channel on Friday. Uh, we're going to look at some more bootlegs. We haven't done that in a while. I miss my bootlegs. Uh, and Fred also a connoisseur of bootlegs. So we're probably going to check out some bootlegs on Friday. We've been talking about that. And Dayup. When you eat enough fruit, you actually become strong enough to shatter rocks and receive extra bells and resources from them. And then there's pictures in the article, like a way, the way that an IGN would have pictures in an article, right? Like, really, they think they're, they're fucking game reviewers now, or like strategy guide people. But their strategies revolve around how to be vegan in a video game. Islands have different starting fruits. No, it says, what other vegan food can you eat in the game? Islands have different starting fruits, including the following. Apples, cherries, coconuts, oranges, peaches, pears. Not bananas, meaning that pita is aware of the fact that bananas have been removed from the game. Visit friends or mystery islands to collect every type of fruit for a colorful menu of vegan snacks. Right? So it's kind of great. I mean, you can't eat meat in, in Animal Crossing. They should, they should have no complaints. It's amazing that in a game where you can't eat meat, that they would find fucking nitpicks about catching bugs. Th th you, you, you'd think that this would be a video game where Peter would have nothing to fucking complain about and they still found things. It, it's, it's actually, it's amazing, isn't it? What is that fruit that tastes like meat? I, I, there's a fruit that tastes like meat? What fruit tastes like meat? Citric Acid says, I see villagers eating sandwiches. When do we get to eat sandwiches? What the fuck? Is Nintendo withholding the sandwich DLC? What, you see like a, a, a pig villager eating like a pork sandwich or something? A ham sandwich? I'm upset that I didn't do this on a rainy island. Oh. Should I build a doghouse? If you get instructions to build a doghouse, don't. Life at the end of a heavy short chain is all too real an issue for many dogs in the U.S. Right now, countless dogs are constrained indoors and in all weather conditions, outdoors and all weather conditions would change just like the ones pictured here. Languishing alone and struggling to survive long days and nights without proper shelter from the elements. I don't know how many people are really treating their dogs like that. But it's a really good time to mention the fact that PETA murders dogs. Yeah. And if you look in, the, so I saw this on Twitter, 
and I looked in the reply uh, chain or whatever, the reply thread, and uh, it was just every other tweet was them pointing out, Petey, you kill dogs. Like, shut the fuck up, Petey, you kill dogs. Petey, you kidnap people's dogs and kill them. Why? Because they don't want people to have pets. Because, you know, your dog being act actually fucking dead is preferable to them, to you having your pet and giving it a good life. They're, li they're literal terrorists. Now check this part out. Is Tom Nook exploiting you? Yep. Tom Nook is a, t a tanuki or a raccoon dog who are often killed for their fur. Others like him in the real world are beaten, anally electrocuted, gassed, or skinned alive. Cut him some slack. So yes, let... Tom Nook is exploiting you, and you should let him. So what PETA is bringing up there is the thing that they love to bring up uh, at every opportunity that they get, which is the, uh, Japan's uh, Tanuki fur trade. Which, as far as I could tell, legitimately is a, a, a really, uh, fucking terrible thing. But, I remember the last time they brought this up was probably when Mario Odyssey came out. I remember they made a video game. Remember the, the PETA video game where you play as Mario in the Tanuki suit? But the Tanuki suit was just like a Tanuki fur that was like bloody because it had just been ripped off of a, of, of a fucking... It was older than that, Bubba Fair. But remember, it made the rounds again. Anytime there's a, a new fucking Mario game, Peter like fuck pushes that shit on social media. And it's like, again, Peter, it's a video game. It, does, it was for uh, Mario 3D Land, right? Oh, no! God damn you, Peter. They just fucking despawned! He didn't fall in the water, he despawned. So I was gonna turn around and catch that motherfucker. That sucked. Alright, now we have to clear out another 50 beetles and, and roaches now. Double Rancho. What if I do the thing where I dig a bunch of holes around the tarantula so it can't... That'll just get me stung, won't it? Kind of want to try it. Kind of want to try it. I'm afraid to try it. You'll have to dig in a specific pattern and be quick about lock. I'll fuck it up. Nah, fuck it. I beefed that. I pushed the fucking control stick too hard. There was no reason I should have been able to do that. That pissed me the fuck off. Yeah, I was gonna get try to get closer to him so I wouldn't have to inch up to him. It'd take forever to catch it. But I just moved too fast, I guess. Yeah, it's been working. I've been doing it all night, but I fucked it up that time. I thought that was like a weird shaped fish, but it was just two fish. So hey guys, you enjoying Animal Crossing New Horizons? I want you to think about a raccoon being anally electrocuted. You still enjoying your video game? You still enjoying your cute video game? You're a bad person. You should feel bad for playing this cute video game. You're a terrible person because you like Animal Crossing, and you should feel bad.
Why are they doing it, Cuddles? Ju yeah, just yeah, just for fun. Yeah, just for fun. It's not like they have a point. They just get off on ruining people's good time. And if you thought this article couldn't get stupider, it does. Click revenue is a big part of encrypted code, yeah. It says, how can you spread animal rights through Animal Crossing? It says, give your island an animal-friendly name. Like, Veganville. Hashtag, and speciesism. Speciesism. What a fucking gross word that is. What the fuck? Thanks, Joel. Or, customize your passport with the phrase like, hashtag and speciesism. Or, adopt, don't shop. Or, go vegan. Here you go. Uh, adopt, don't shop. Uh, it says, S. Junipero, San Junipero? We have a Black Mirror fan here. Thanks, Joel. Uh, make custom designs. There you go. So this reminds me of a tweet that I saw uh, the, two days ago, I think. It said, My boyfriend had me come to his uh, Animal Crossing village for the first time, and I see this. And it was video of that... Uh, you know how the airplane flies over their, their town, right? And you can look down on the island, and you'll see the person down there looking up at the plane, waving at them. Alright, so the guy had a custom design that he put on an easel that he was standing next to it while he was waving at her and it said whore. <laughs> it just said a whore. Post a bulletin to instruct your visitors to leave wildlife alone. San Junipero has a zero tolerance policy on speciesism. No fishing, no catching bugs, no fun. Respect all animals while visiting. Thank you. Guys, think about it. If you're not fishing and you're not catching bugs, what the fuck are you doing in Animal Crossing? What are you doing in this game if you're not doing either of those things? Well, PETA has a suggestion. How can you enjoy your island in an animal-friendly way? Instead of fishing or catching insects, engage in animal-friendly activities when your friends come to visit your island. Like having a bonfire. Okay, so sitting there and doing nothing, got it. Playing music together under the stars. Okay, again, sitting there and doing absolutely fucking nothing, got it. Or discovering a secret beach together. I, I, I've had the fucking town for four days and I already know every inch of my island. There is no secret beach. Like, like, fuck you! Fuck you! Discovering a secret beach. That sentence just fills me with the unreasonable anger. Orange Fresh says... They had to do the things they said not to do to get that. What do you mean? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Explain. There is a secret beach, and I don't know because it's a secret. Note that they had the tent for the museum. <laughs> they totally did! Oh, it's back there! It's back there! Look, it's got the little owl on it. They fucking have the museum! So fuck, it's okay for Peter to have the museum. <laughs> it's in the fucking screenshot. They fucked up. They just, excuse me. They just don't want you to have the museum. They can have the museum, but you, fuck you. You're not allowed to have it. <laughs> That's why, guys, again, they are hypocrites. You're not allowed to kill animals. Peter fucking kill animals daily. Daily. 
Oh my god, this is fucking outrageous. What? What? <laughs> well, if you... Okay, if you had meant to say that they would have had to have chopped trees down to have the ladder, then... Well, no, man. Well, does Nook make you catch bugs and shit before you unlock blueprints or, or whatever? I don't, I don't think so, right? But I think, yeah, I think in order to progress the game, like th there are some things that you absolutely have to do. Right, so as Bubba Fair points out, in order to get the ladders, you have to do the Blathers quest. So in order for this motherfucker to be holding a ladder, he absolutely had to do the things that they just told us not to do. These people are so full of shit. They're such fucking hypocrites. I don't even- I don't think I could fucking stomach it anymore. Sit back and enjoy island life while knowing you're not- you're causing no real harm or virtual harm. No real harm or virtual harm to animals. They don't even- yeah. They don't even want you causing virtual harm to animals. Is PETA against Animal Crossing New Horizons? I feel like y y you kind of have to be. Peter hopes the game will encourage people to feel closer to the animals we share our planet with and inspire them to work to hashtag end speciesism. The misguided belief that humans are superior to other animal species and that it's okay for us to exploit some species in horrible ways for trivial purposes. Animal Crossing New Horizons is fantastical in many ways, but when you look a little closer, you realize that there are even more ways in which it's realistic. Go on. While other animals don't speak the same language we do, they really do have their own means of communication and individual personalities. By populating your island with animals such as sheep, deer, and rabbits who have strong personalities, Nintendo is reinforcing the important fact that animals are individuals. And with that... PETA... co-ops and fucking just unwillingly j j draws Nintendo into their bullshit. Okay, without asking them, without them very obviously not wanting anything to do with this, this, this fucking horror show, right? They're sitting here trying to tell us what they think Nintendo meant. How about you shut the fuck up? Because I'm pretty sure that they want nothing to do with you whatsoever, okay? And they're definitely not reinforcing the fact that animals are individuals. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not getting that from this. Anybody getting that from this? Agnes, one of the starting villagers, is a sweet pig and a lovely neighbor. Right, so... PETA apparently is... While aware of the fact that bananas aren't in the game... ...is not aware of the fact that everybody gets random starting villagers. Agnes is a sweet pig and a lovely neighbor. In real life, pigs are just as sweet, gentle, and kind. They eat feces. Mother pigs even sing to their young. But because... Do they? There's a link, but I'm not clicking it. I I'm not clicking that. But because of speciesism, humans slaughter pigs and eat their flesh instead of recognizing them as sentient beings who deserve respect. Stop giving Peter free advertising. No, P I'm not giving Peter free advertising because nobody in this channel is going to fucking Peter's website. If anything, Peter gave me free fucking stream fodder and content. That's what's actually happening. Okay? Mother pigs sing to their young. You know what? I'm clicking it. Oh, and by the way, it links to another Peter article. You think it was going to link to some fucking evidence from, from science about pigs singing to their young? It didn't. It linked to another PETA article. Uh, another starting villager, Axel, is an elephant who loves to move and work out. Elephants in real life love to roam big open places with their families, but because of speciesism, humans capture, confine, and abuse them for their entertainment. These magnificent animals are forced into a lifetime of misery for cruel rides and circus shows. Okay, yeah, fair, fucked up. Pretty sure a lot of places attempt to, you know, make laws against that, and... I don't like seeing elephants in the, in the circus. I don't like seeing elephants in the circus. You can tell those elephants don't like being there. 
Uh, but anyway, the premise of Animal Crossing... It's not like these people have no points. It's just... They go about it like such colossal fucking assholes. The premise of Animal Crossing New Horizons should send the important message that other animals or individuals... This is what it should do. This is what the game should do. And nothing else. And nothing else. When is Fred gonna make a PETA down the rabbit hole video? That, there's a... There might be some... Yeah, there might be a rabbit hole there for him, maybe. Um, animals are individuals we share the world with, not objects for us to exploit. We are all animals, and we all deserve respect. But it's okay for us to do exactly what we're telling you not to do. Okay, anyway, have a good night, everybody. Thanks for reading our shitty article. All right, so I'm starting to think about maybe saying that's enough tarantulas for the night. Picking up some of those mats and going home. Just because it's getting a little bit late for me. I didn't do this on an island where it was it was raining. Again, that would have been that would have been way cooler. Okay, mother pigs do sing to their young, found a source that is actually, uh, from science. Well... I mean, that's really cute and everything, but what they need to do is just stop being delicious. Listen, I feel bad for animals. You know, uh, I really do. I really honestly do. Like, I get really upset if I think about it. You know, the fact that all these animals are suffering in slaughterhouses and stuff. Um. But I, I, I really like eating them. Like, I really, 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 really like eating them. Uh, Emerald Glow says, read the bit message I sent. Can you send it to me again? Because if I scroll up, I'm probably not going to find it. I think the chat moved significantly during that. I just, like, repost it. I'll try to keep an eye out for it. Yeah, these people think that the human body can survive on nothing but fruit. I'm pretty sure you would at least need to eat vegetables, too. And I feel like people who don't eat meat should probably be taking some vitamins, uh, vitamin supplements to, to, you know, supplement what you're not getting. Um, and you're not going to find those on a fucking desert island because don't forget, as stated earlier, what they expect you to do on a deserted island is, is, is just die. Like, what would happen to you if you ate nothing but fruit? We need Morgan Spurlock to do... ...a fucking experiment where he eats nothing but fruit. Or is he dead yet from eating all that McDonald's? Just beetles and beetles and more beetles. Oh, fuck yeah! Fruit precise me. So speaking of McDonald's, they're um, hitting it out of the park with this whole, you know, pandemic thing. They've done a really important thing for, uh, for everybody, and that's... They've altered their corporate logo to have the two golden arches being apart from each other to represent social distancing. And I think that's a really important move uh, on their part. I think that really sends a message of, of you know, solidarity while being separated. Um, you know, of course, they're not, you know, giving their employees any paid sick leave or anything like that. And um, expecting their employees to... Just fucking die, I guess. But hey! It's cool because they separated the arches. It's cool because they separated the arches, so it's cool.
because I mean that was important and that that was helpful and I think that sends a very strong message to everybody you know because we all needed another reason to fucking hate McDonald's I didn't even see that fucking thing You know that supersize me is bullshit. It might be, but I don't... Like, as if I needed a movie to, to, to tell me that McDonald's was fucking destroying my body. You, you know, all I needed to do to figure that out was actually eat that fucking food. Remember the last time I was forced to eat McDonald's? So this is when I was a security guard. And, uh... I was, uh, assigned a post. And I had a 15-minute break... ...during it. I think it was, a, I think it was a... ...at least an 8-hour shift, at least, right? Um, though when I was working that job, I did a lot of 10, 12-hour shifts... ...and some 16-hour shifts certain days. Um... But they had... It, it, more, more, most likely it was a 12-hour shift. But on my 15-minute break... Okay, I... The only thing that I had to eat that was anywhere nearby where my post was... Was a McDonald's. Like, I had no choice. I had to eat McDonald's or I wasn't gonna get to eat anything. Alright, so I go to McDonald's. And I'm looking at the menu and I'm seeing all this garbage and I'm like, What's one thing that's not gonna make me feel like shit? And they had something called, like, a Mick Southwest Mick Fajita wrap or some fucking dumb shit, right? Chicken wrap. I'm like, alright, it's grilled chicken. There's no way grilled chicken is gonna make me feel like shit. Explosive liquid shits. And I could not leave my fucking post. I was not allowed to leave my fucking post. So I had to sit there with my fucking asshole clenched. For like at least an hour, I, I f had to call my supervisor and beg. I was like, no, you don't understand. No, you don't understand. I'm gonna be sitting here in a puddle of fucking liquid feces if you don't let me go to back to that McDonald's so I could take a shit. He's like, we'll send somebody else over there while you're shitting. And then I had to wait for somebody else to come. So they could watch the post while I went to take... Yeah, good food. Oh, McDonald's is- it, McDonald's isn't bad for you. Yeah, the salads at McDonald's could make you have explosive diarrhea. <laughs> for fuck's sake. And the chicken wrap was like weird, it was- it was- It was like, lukewarm, it wasn't even hot. And the fucking grilled chicken was like slimy, dude. Like, fucking... Even whatever kind of sauce they put in there, it was like, some kind of sweet and sour sauce. And I remember thinking like, why is there fucking sweet and sour sauce on my Southwest fucking chicken burrito? But fuck, whatever. Whatever. Even that tasted like fucking shit. Fuck that trash. I guess the nuggets are edible. And that's me getting- that- that's me being very, very, very generous when I say that. And I'm pretty- the, the next time I'm forced to eat at a McDonald's, it's- it's gonna be- it's gonna be nuggets. It's just gonna be the nuggets. You ever, like, bite into a McDonald's chicken nugget and just look at the cross-section? And it just looks like a fucking meat sponge. You ever see that meat sponge that you're eating? 
It's like all porous and shit. Like, guys, that's not what chicken meat looks like. Mechanically separated chicken. Oh, you know what we haven't talked about? <laughs> we haven't talked about in a while? You know what we haven't talked about in a while? The McDonald's chicken farms. Like, how they make the chicken. Like, how they, they raise the chickens. Remember that? Who remembers that shit? So, I, don't know, I guess this was an urban legend that was going around at the time. You can file this under Nathan's Gorilla Meat Hot Dogs if you want. I don't know how true it is. But I remember being a kid and, and somebody told me that... McDonald's had genetically engineered chicken... ...to hatch out of their eggs, right? And not be born with eyes or feet or beaks. So these things will just hatch and they'll be like... Come check, please kill me, come check. End my pain. Like moisty chickens, basically? <laughs> so like... Because, hey, you know, the way to maximize profits is to not have a, you know, a stage in the slaughtering where you have to remove beaks and, 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 and legs and shit, and feet, right? Or eyeballs, like, just, you know, take that, like, basically, imagine, like, a poultry speed bag, right, at the gym. A poultry speed bag that's just sitting there, like, you know, writhing in agony, right? And then just, I know, how does it eat, or whatever. I, it's fake. Take that thing and just dump it into a fucking meat, meat grinder. Yeah, the McMoisty. <laughs> the McMoisty. Yeah, I'll have a McMoisty Deluxe uh, Biggie size with fries. Oh, God damn it! I never even saw that motherfucker. Are you kidding me? Come on. Suck it! Gamered that little bitch. So, yeah, I mean, genetically grown meat is a emerging science. Which, I don't know, man. How do you feel about meat that... Just like a fucking skirt steak that got grown in a fucking Petri dish or something. There never was... I mean, it's meat. Like, it absolutely is meat. It's protein. Theoretically, it's gonna taste exactly the same. You would not be able to tell the difference. You would not be able to tell the difference. But it didn't- it never came from an animal that actually lived. If you- if you could just, like, show me that it's not gonna hurt me in any way, I, I might not have a problem with this. And then I wouldn't have to have the guilt about the killing of the animals anymore. You know? You know, you're getting the taste, you're getting the texture, you're getting the fucking, the, the vitamins, the proteins, the nutrients. You're getting everything, everything you want out of the meat, except it didn't come from a fucking actual animal. I feel like there's ten fucking mole crickets that are... ...slowing down the process here. Again, I don't believe the fish are involved in the spawning of the bugs, but I'm just... I'm just doing that to make sure. Because whatever, maybe it's true, I don't know. Oh, good news, you don't have to go up there to scare that thing away if it's close enough to the edge.
I should go back with the full inventory, huh? I mean, I put all the work in, right? I mean, I am a little bit upset about leaving behind all those mats and tools. God damn it, I never saw him. Can I gamer it again? I don't know. That wasn't easy to pull off. Fuck! I hesitated. You flinched! I flinched. It's not fucking easy, guys. Watch out for boogies on your six. Over and out. I like how he calls me a ground pounder. What, like, like what? Like I'm just sitting here, like, humping the earth? Like I dug a little hole? If you know what I mean. If you know what I'm saying. Sludge Judy doesn't know what I mean. Can I explain? Uh, sure. It's, uh, you dig a hole and then, uh, you put, put your, uh, your willy into the, uh, Earth China, you know? Learned about that in Boy Scouts. Just kidding. I wasn't in Boy Scouts. Actually, I was in Boy Scouts, but they didn't teach about that. You know what I did learn in Boy Scouts, chat? How to wipe your butt with a leaf. So we were out in the woods, and the Boy Scout uh, leader, he was like, Alright, so if you're in the woods, you have to poop. Obviously, you don't have toilet paper. I'm going to teach you guys a little tactic. But how to use a leaf to wipe your butt. I'm going to warn you now, this is not for the faint of heart. So what you do is you take the leaf, you fold it in half, right? Then, you pinch out a little hole in the center of the leaf, right? So when you unfold the leaf, there's a hole directly in the middle of the leaf. Then, you're gonna take one of your fingers, and you're gonna push your finger through that hole in the leaf, so that the leaf is now all the way at the base of your finger, like, or, like at your knuckle, right? Then, you're simply going to wipe your butt with that, with that finger. Swear to God, this guy fucking said this to like 20 kids. Then, you take the leaf and you crumple it up and you drag it off your finger. Like, and you use basically use the leaf to clean the poop off your finger. Then, I missed this part. What you were supposed to do, what you were supposed to do was keep the center of the leaf that you tore out and then use that to clean the poop out from underneath your fingernail. And I shit you not... Well... I do shit you, but I... I'm telling you the truth when I say a fuck like 40-something year old man said this seriously to a group of like 20 children in the middle of the woods. I'm not making this up. Like, use common sense. Would that work? TV dart. Thank you for uh, four months' support. Someone in chat said they saw a rancho up here. I'm not seeing that rancho. There's a beetle. Sounds like that's just a really, really good way to get poop everywhere. And it begs the question, dude. It's like, hey, man. If you're doing that, why not just, ju like, like, what's with the finger thing? Just use the leaf. Just simply use the leaf. If you have to. If you absolutely have to. Right, yeah, no, even as a kid, I was like, uh, why not just use the leaf? Good night, Hydration Havoc. Thank you for coming tonight. 
Yeah, right, and it stands to reason if you had access to one leaf, you would have all the leaves you would ever need, right, Albino Octopus? You see a guy at the supermarket, his shopping cart is absolutely filled to the brim with leaves. They ran out of toilet paper. They ran out of toilet paper, so I had to come to Home Depot and go through the home and garden section. Cleaned out all the plants. What's up, buddy? Ah, there goes the net. But, I can easily craft a new one. Right? Uh, what is it? You need sticks? I feel like it's just sticks, and then in order to craft... Indie Film says that the guy might have been japing. Boy Scouts are infamous for japing the kids with really dumb things that don't work because kids are dumb, especially when you would have been in the program. This is from someone who stuck it out through the whole program and got the highest rank. H hey, is that cool? To tell a bunch of kids to get to get poop on their finger? Because there was no part of that where the guy was like, Just kidding, haha! You know, that never happened. Alright, so I need iron for the one that, uh, to make the second... ...the second tier of net, right? And here you go. You just craft a new net, you keep going. Uh, where is it? Uh, yes. Now, of course, when I get back to my island, I'm not going to be able to sell these because the shop is closed. And I want the full price for them, you better believe it. So I'm going to have to keep all these tarantulas in my fucking house while I sleep in it. Pretty unsettling. Just stack them outside the shop? Yeah, that could work. Or I could just leave them in my inventory until, uh... ...tomorrow, which is what I'll probably do. That's what I did last night. I started putting them into the storage in my house, then I was like, wait, why am I doing this? The first thing I'm gonna do tomorrow is sell these tarantulas anyway, so... And it's not like there was anything left to do in the game at that point, you know? Same thing as tonight, so... A lot of unnecessary steps there if you're gonna do that. Go away, go away. Yeah, they're making me go up there, fuck. Beakless, footless, eyeless chickens. And then it's like, yeah, how does it eat, man? Shh, don't worry about how it eats. I saw somebody in chat say that was the urban legend for KFC. I heard it from McDonald's. If I remember correctly. And I also heard that Nathan's Hot Dogs makes their fucking hot dogs from the meat of gorillas. And that's a real thing that somebody told me. That didn't come from nothing, guys. Well, that one's just true, right? Imagine if the dodo was like... Sorry, I can't let you on a plane with all this contraband. And I'm like, what contraband? And you can just see like fucking tarantula hair and spider legs like sticking out of the fucking... My crotch zipper and shit. Hey, buddy. No international smuggling of creatures. 
It's funny because that's exactly like that's exactly what these people do. They go somewhere, they get a shitload of exotic animals, and then they put them. You you have to put them on your body because your your fucking shit is gonna get your your suitcase is gonna go through a you know an X-ray machine, right? They'll see a bunch of fucking tarantulas in the X-ray. If you want to smuggle animals, like, the number one strat is to put them on your body. And yeah, those stories that you hear all the time. It's like, guy got arrested at the airport because he had, like, fucking chinchillas in his asshole and stuff like that. It happens all the time. Exotic snakes, yeah. Oh, look, it just does not give a fuck about you if you don't have a net out, look. Looks like it just actively avoids you if you don't have a net out. Did he just fucking despawn in the... Equipping the net would have stopped that from happening. Because then he would have uh, aggroed on me. Fucking lame. Yeah, that's why you kind of absolutely have to have the net out. Otherwise, they're just going to SD. Fuck, that pissed me off. Oh, we're at capacity. I'm going to chuck... The... Oh, what, what, what's this fucking shit? Get this out of here. I picked that up by accident? When did I even pick that up? So I hope this stream inspires you guys to make your very own... Uh, Rancho Ranch. Uh, and you know what? Most of you guys were willing to time travel, so I don't see this being... Nearly as egregious as that. Oh, I shouldn't. Oh, wait. Fuck. I was thinking maybe it'd be a bad idea to keep that there because the tweet does say you don't want to have any resources on the grass. It says dump all the resources on the beach, which as you can see is exactly what I did. I don't know if that fucks with the spawns. I, I have no idea. Maybe it'll make flies show up if I leave that like that? It's not garbage, though. Are the weeds fucking with the spawns? I'll tell you what. When I did this last night, the weeds absolutely did not fuck with the spawns. I, I didn't pick a single weed when I did this last night. And I'm gonna say I did this in about half the time it's taking me to do it tonight. Because, again, on that island, it was raining. Which stopped the uh, tiger beetles from spawning. So that was just another slot that was left open for a rancho spawn. Fuck out of here. Give me them ranchos, come on. Give me them ranchos. We're almost at full capacity. I think it'd be really cool to go back to my island with my pants full of ranchos. Did you think my net was going to hit the wall? I did. Yeah, I think, uh... Oh. I'm not done. But I will be done in a few minutes. So, let me do my thing now, and thank you guys for coming to the stream tonight. Hope you enjoyed. 
Hope it was elucidating. Thank you for all your bits, your subs, your resubs. Your, um... Your bits, all your support, guys. Thank you so much. It means a lot. If anyone's new to the channel... And I did see some new names here. Thank you, guys, for coming to check it out tonight. Uh, you can find me on social media. You can also find me on YouTube. The links will be in the chat. And don't forget... When the Highlights YouTube channel reaches 10k subs... I'm just going to be really grateful for it. Not, not, nothing's going to happen. There, there may eventually be a special video to commemorate 10k subs. That's all I'm going to say about that. No promises, nothing specific. Also, Anon, thank you for the gift subs there. Go, 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 Gatsu and Dr. Funkenstein. To the family. Thank you so much. There may, there may be a Bad Dragon Dildo at the Batting Cages video. We'll see what happens. Like I said, a logistical nightmare. We'll see. Uh, and also, uh, if you made art for the stream tonight, tweet it at me with the hashtag JabroniMikeArt. Uh, so we can look at it as soon as I end. Um, get rid of that. All right. I hope you guys learned things. I hope you learned about Rancho Islands. I hope you learned about PETA. And I hope you learned about how McDonald's makes their chicken nuggets. Mm. Fuck off! And obviously the net has to come back with you. You can't drop the net. Thank you so much for to watching my YouTube tutorial how to make a differential on island in the Animal Crossing and New Horizon for Nintendo Switch. No, thank you, Shady Style McCool. May, you, may your style always be shady and cool. The tutorial. Tutorial. You like that? Tutorial. Oh yeah, I forgot to put regis on registered hypercam in the corner. Fuck. I could place the ranchos down, Ninja Cat, but why would I do it? So I could catch more tarantulas and then not get to bring back the ones that... Think about that. I mean, all I have to do is go home, sell these... Get another Nook Miles ticket, and then do it all over again. I have one more slot. I could get rid of the ladder. And yeah, it does kind of suck that I have to leave all these mats and tools here. But, dude, I'm gonna make... Something like 230,000... So can somebody do the math on that? The grand total from selling all these ranchos. Slight time sink. Full, they are full stacks of wood, Hollow Monster. It does suck. But, what are you gonna do? Alright, let's get out of here. Mailbot power top is stove top megaphone. Do you require assistance? Over. Ready to punk pontoons and fly sore and pansy here back to East Lechuga? Man, what a sexually suggestive sentence that is. <laughs> it's close to 300. Uh, 232,000 bells. Bubba Fair is correct. Yeah, that's the, that's the amount. Uh, 
Yeah, T the Hero. Um, I'll meet up with you for the Machamp after the stream. Thank you. Now, you wouldn't happen to have any illegal contraband on your person? No uh, uh, exotic pets, exotic creatures, or anything like that, would you? And I'm just there like... No! No, nothing like that! Because I'm just wriggling and, and itching and, you know, in pain because the tarantulas are actively crawling all over and biting my penis. <laughs> no! No! no. Oh, I'm good. Get this, just get on fucking plane. Get this over with. I love how the wing flaps, like the dodo wing flaps, like it starts flipping out <laughs> in that logo. Yeah. And there you go. Behold. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go to bed and. Probably sell these tomorrow, right? But uh yeah, for anybody just <laughs> for anybody just popping in. Watch the VOD if you want to find out how I did this and how anybody could do this. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to sleep with all the spiders in my pants. I'm sure this'll this'll end well. Uh I'm gonna look at the art real quick. Uh let's see what we got. Uh, in the art hashtag. Uh, Brony, Mike, art, make me type it out every time, huh? There's a couple of pieces here, indeed. There are. I will start with this from Tile N87. It says, pretty much the only two streamers I've been watching sitting in their epic gamer chairs. That's cool as fucking shit. Look at that. That's me and Rev. God, Rev looks badass. And I love my full clown regalia. Very fucking cool. And is that not... That's the... That's the cum throne. That's the cum throne. That I took that picture in uh, not too long ago. Very nice, uh, Tile. But this, uh, this, is, this is digital, right? It looks so fucking... So it looks like real paint to me. And I mean, I don't, you know, I don't know much about the arts, but yeah, the lighting is good. It's really fucking cool. Uh, thank you for this. Also from Blue Star. Yet another moisty pattern. Keep them coming, guys. Love it. Thank you. From 87 Octane. So earlier tonight, a very stupid thing came out of my mouth. Where I said Dunsparce was going to be walking around in the cancelled t-shirt that Pro Jared was wearing. And, uh, fucking Octane brought it to life. God, fuck Octane. I love when you do this kind of shit. <laughs> Just take one completely idiotic throwaway comment that came out of my mouth and turn it into an awesome art. Octane, fucking thank you so much. This made my fucking night. <laughs> thank you. Love it. Awesome as always. Yet yeah, cancelled and proud. Uh, here's some art from Punstar Trace Tracer. It says 150 left. Wonder what they mean. 150 what? Wonder what? Looks like it's a mask boy at the batting cages. He's holding a holding a baseball bat. Kind of can't imagine what this could be referencing. I don't. I don't know what. I don't. I don't get it. Does anybody get it? Does anyone get it? Hmm. Just kidding. I get it. Punstar, I don't want you to be disappointed when I get that many subs and this video doesn't get made in, imme immediately. Because, as I pointed out before, I'm not going to be able to go to the fucking batting cages because my entire state is in lockdown. So, you know, uh, it'll it'll certainly be a while. But the art is fucking cute, and I love it. Thank you, Punstar. Uh, this next piece is from Grace and Glory, who is the really talented artist who made me and Fred's little avatars in the Warren's thumbnails when we... Uh, if you look at the... The thumbnails for the YouTube videos. Um, here you go. 
Says, here you go, funny man. Love your Sona. Here's the doodle. Re-upload because I messed up the tags. Fucking awesome. Thank you, Grace and Glory. Uh, and thank you for the cool art, uh, the, your work on the, the Warrens uh, thumbnails, right? Uh, 87 Morpheus. Not sure if this counts as art, but if Vinny won't do it, I'm available. Are you talking about the uh, John Fogarty center field cover? <laughs> No, I know how I'm going to do it. It, it. If, in fact, this has to happen, I will just do, uh, like, a karaoke version like I did with Holding Out for a Hero. And if anything, it'll be it'll be better. Um, and Teal Opal says, Don't know if this is technically art, but I made it after hearing Mike talk about making Guy Fieri and Animal Crossing the other night. Right here on Triple D. You need the glasses, though. You need the glasses, so... But, uh, yeah, there's certainly the hairstyle on the shirt. Two-thirds of the way there. But, anyway, that's it. I gotta go. Guys, I will see you tomorrow night. As stated, I will be playing Doom Eternal. Uh, really enjoying that game. Can't wait. Uh, in the meantime, stay safe, guys. Lots of love. And have an excellent night. <laughs> Wee 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 w